All right, here we go with the first part of the lesson for Friends, Lovers, or Nothing by John Mayer. All right, here is how we start the intro part. We're up here, we're playing around on the, the 12th, 11th, 10th, and 9th frets for this part, and we go up a little bit higher. But we're starting on the 12th fret on the A string, on the 5th string. Then the 11th fret on the D string. Then the ninth fret on the G string, then the tenth fret on the B string. It's actually making an A chord in a C shape. So it's A. Okay, after this, we go up on the B string to the twelfth fret and we bend it up. We bend it up, we re release it, and then we come back to the 10th fret. Alright, let's do that one more time. Now we are coming back down to the, it's almost really like we're going in reverse. So ninth fret on the G string, and so we are actually going in reverse. After the bend, ninth fret on G string, eleventh fret on the D string. Now we go up two frets to the thirteenth fret on the D string, then to the twelfth fret on the B string. And we bend up and release. Then the 10th fret on the B string. Then the 11th fret on the G string. So we are up to do it slowly. So that's a bend, release, 10th fret B string, 11th fret G string. Now we go to, we start here on the 9th fret on the D string, 12th fret on the D string, then the 11th fret on the G string. So 9th fret D string, 12th fret D string, 13th fret G string, then back to our note that we keep bending. So that is the 12th fret B string. It's a bend and release. So. so same note sequence that we have with all our bends. Bend up, release. 10th fret, B string, 12th fret, I mean 11th fret, G string, so. Then the 9th fret, G string, 10th fret, B string. That's a bend without the release. We stop it on the way up, so it's still the same note that we keep bending. This 12th fret B string, bend it up a whole step, and stop it. So what I'm doing is I'm using my picking hand and touching it when it gets up there. See that? And then you you release it down with no noise, and then you play. The last note is the 10th fret B string. So let's play through this again, slowly starting here on the 9th fret D string. Okay. Play through the whole thing slowly, this whole intro.
messed up. One more time, very slowly. Now let's adjust this, and we are moving on to our chords, okay? So here we got 1st fret, 2nd fret, 3rd fret, 4th fret, 5th fret. We're starting with an A chord, 5th fret. And this is thumb on top string, middle finger, or third finger on the next string, pinky on the next one, middle finger on that next one, that G string, and then 1st finger barring these two this type of bar chord, but doing it with our thumb wrapped around the top, okay? So this is the, the chords for the intro and also the verse of the song, okay? So we've got, uh, let's see, A. Now it goes to a B7 sus4, which you can play like this. Second finger on the seventh fret on the E string. Don't play the A string. Third finger, seventh fret on the D string. Pinky on the eighth fret of the G string. Your first finger on the uh, fifth fret of the B string, and then the E string open. Okay, so that's the that's the actual chord. It's a B seven sus four. Um, but, to make it easier, I think a B7 sounds fine. So we're going from A to B7. Okay, or you can do A to B7. I don't play this chord a lot, so it takes me you know, a second to get my fingers right. Alright, then we go to a B minor, which mainly what I'm playing on a B minor is that uh, fourth string, the D string on the ninth fret with my third finger, and then barring the next three, the G, B, and E strings on the seventh fret with my first finger. You can wrap your thumb around for the bass note if you want to. So we got A, B7. Seven, and this is a uh, just a second finger on your seventh fret on the A string, first finger sixth fret D string, third finger seventh fret G string, and then the next two just open. So we got B minor, E seven. Now the chord here is a D. So this is just a normal little bar, a D bar chord on the fifth, fifth fret here and seventh fret on these three strings right there. D, A, okay. Now there's a little lick that we can put in there, but first we're going to go through these um, chords again. We got A, B, then B7 or B7 sus4, we're just going to do a B7. Okay, and B7 is, uh, the way I'm doing it here is thumb on top, third finger on the A string, your first finger on the next string, then your middle finger on the G string on the 8th fret, so this is 7, 
nine, seven, eight, and then your first finger barring the, the others. So B7, then B minor, E7, D, and F. Alright, so let's back up so you can see the strumming too. This is a little lick I was telling you about. Instead of the D chord, it's just a little thing that we can do to improvise. There's a lot that you can do to improvise, like John Mayer in chords. Alright, so one little thing that you can do to improvise. Instead of playing the D chord to the A, we will go. So what we're doing here is we're kind of barring the A and the D string on the 7th fret, and we are pl playing both of them okay, at the same time. And as you play it, you hammer on the 9th fret of the A string with your 3rd finger. So what I'm doing is just hammering on that one so it creates a, so we st still have a chord there with two strings. See that? Then taking it off, then putting it on the other string that we're playing. So it's playing see if we can see this a little bit better. Oops. Get my middle finger out of the way. And then back to an A chord. So, it's just those two strings. Okay. So that's... And you play that in the time that you would normally play the D chord. Alright, so that's hammer on, take off, on the D string, ninth fret, and then back to our A chord. Alright, now the, um, the chorus of the song, let's see, we are dropping down because we're going um, from the verse uh, let me I'll play through the chorus for you I'm starting, I'm just starting from the B minor chord in the verse, um, to the E7, to the D lick, now what we're going to do is to transition to the chorus, we're going to bounce.